Muslim migrants gang raped girl and it's happened again, thanks to Obama Clinton friend. Three migrant youths sexually assaulted a disabled five-year-old girl in Twin Falls, Idaho, in June 2016. The case immediately sparked outrage in the small rural community, which had been targeted by the Obama administration to take in thousands of refugees. However, there was a sinister element lurking behind the scenes. A good friend of the Obamas and the Clintons affected the court case, protecting the rapists, and you'll be shocked as the girl's mother says, it's happening again. Last June, when Lacey Peterson's five-year-old daughter Jayla was raped by three Muslim migrant boys, aged 14, 10, and 7, something else very amiss happened within the small town of Twin Falls. The boys lured the child into the Twin Falls apartment complex laundry room, and while the 14-year-old videoed, the boys engaged in sexual acts with her and urinated in her mouth. The incident was witnessed by 89-year-old Jolene Payne, a retired nurse who said all the boys were naked as was Jayla, who was developmentally disabled. You'd think this would be a no-brainer, a slam-dunk case to prosecute. Well, you'd be wrong. Thanks to the Idaho state government, which bows down to the Chobani Yogurt King, Hampi Alu Ki, a Muslim immigrant who is a staunch supporter of the Muslim refugee program. Hampi himself refuses to prove that he is in the United States legally, and guess where he built the biggest Chobani Yogurt factory in the world? Yep, it's in Twin Falls, Idaho. Hampi Alu Ki, the Turkish-born billionaire best known for having founded the United States' largest Greek yogurt company, Chobani, has ties to both Bill and Hillary Clinton, the Clinton Global Initiative, Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta, and a host of other globalist corporatist figures including Warren Buffet. Chobani's factory in Twin Falls, the world's largest yogurt factory has been at the center of Breitbart News' investigative series into the small town's refugee resettlement program, reports Breitbart. Hampty's other best buddy is Michelle Obama, who made it mandatory that Chobani Yogurt got a big fat federal contract to provide the yogurt for her lunch program. So, when the Twin Falls City Council sided with Muslim activists against the Peterson family, it was all because Hamti likes the Muslim migrants working in his huge yogurt factory. Many people first heard about the Twin Falls refugee resettlement program when a five-year-old girl was raped at the hands of three refugee boys. More recently, a Muslim refugee molested a mentally retarded woman. Those stories led to a look at the wider conditions that led to refugee resettlement in the state of Idaho, a situation connected to the drive for cheap labor by the local food processing industry that Chobani is a major part of, Briet Bart further explains. Conservative activists protested in Twin Falls, demanding a fair trial and bringing national attention to the Peterson case. The city council fought them every step of the way in the information war, putting out propaganda that white supremacists were calling for a lynch mob. Lost in all the politics and Chobani's need to keep the details of the case on the down low was a little girl, Jayla Peterson, who deserved justice. Prosecutor Grant Loeb's unethical behavior before and during the trial is mind-blowing. In Loeb's opening statement he twisted the truth then lied outright, saying, there were no Syrians involved, there was no knife involved, there was no gang rape, when in fact, the attackers were Muslim refugees, although they were from the Sudan and Iraq, and, more importantly, there was a knife and it was a gang rape. The fix was in, and it was as if Jayla was raped all over again, related Lacey Peterson. This time, it was by the greedy liberal rats in Idaho who have given over the state to the Muslim Chobani king who is still working on obtaining Muslim migrants from wherever he can get them. Reporter Leo Homan writes, it's as if it never happened. A judge sentenced three Muslim refugee boys in the sexual assault of a five-year-old girl in Idaho, but nobody knows the length or terms of the sentence because the judge has barred everyone in the courtroom, including the victim's own parents from speaking about the case. Little Jayla Peterson will never comprehend why her parents feel so betrayed by fellow Americans who wielded the power to punish evildoers but instead sold their souls to a Muslim yogurt king, whose big factory was more important to them than the precious little Amerian girl. 
Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice.